The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. This is Pastor Taylor. The church remembers the baptism of our Lord Jesus Christ. In many ways, this is an ongoing epiphany. It is not simply the following of a star for magi to bring gifts to a child. It is that there is a child who has grown up and who is baptized for us and for our salvation and who stands in our stead, prepared to take the wrath of God for us as he would make his journey all the way to the cross to suffer and die to save us forever. Rising from the dead, this perfect son reveals his glory to us, and that perfect son is Jesus. Hence his father's words from heaven, you are my beloved son, with you I am well pleased. As Jesus hears those words, we hear those words because the perfect son Jesus has done extraordinary things for all of us. He has redeemed us from sin, death, and the devil, not with gold or silver, but with his holy and precious blood and innocent suffering and death, so that we may belong to him, live under him in his kingdom, and serve him in everlasting righteousness, innocence, and blessedness, just as he has risen from the dead and lives and reigns to all eternity. This is most certainly true, just as true as the waters of holy baptism that connect us to the death and resurrection of Jesus, just as true as the words of holy absolution spoken to us as our sins are forgiven in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, just as true as every word that is given to us in sermons, read in the liturgy, meditated on by all God's children, and just as true as the very body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ is given to us for forgiveness, life, and salvation. Our sins are forgiven. New life is ours all through the epiphany of our Lord Jesus Christ, made known through his baptism. We give thanks to God for the baptism of our Lord, and we give thanks that that baptism allows us to see God's favor upon his son Jesus, a favor which that son graciously gives to us by the power and grace of his spirit. Thanks be to God for his extraordinary gifts. The blessing of God Almighty be upon you and remain with you forever, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.